Greetings, wholeness, blessings, welcome to Jay's Grassfed Podcast. I think it's like episode 20, I'll leave it up top in the title, and I usually do this as a YouTube live, but I think uh, going forward I'm going to do them as a pre-recorded video, so let's get into it. Today is January 20th, and it is uh, 10 degrees Fahrenheit and 70% humidity. Um, it was a warm, warm end to December, but Pretty much when January hit, it became its normal-ish cold temps. Uh, I'm seeing a 46 here on the 10th, but I don't have the highs. I don't have all the highs and the lows just because I've been a busy bee, but I'm just going to run it through from the 1st to the 21st of everything that I've recorded. So let's get into it. First, was 32 and 70% humidity. Uh, the second, 26 was the low, and 36 was the high. The third, 36 was the low, and 38 was the high. On the fourth, 35 was the low, and 40 was the high. We had our first snow. On the fifth, we got our second snow, and I only recorded the low of 20. Saturday, the 6th, low was 31. Sunday, the 7th, low was 33. We got our third snow. 8th was 28 for the low. And the 9th, 25 for the low. We got our fourth snow, first rain and it was 38 for the high. Um, Wednesday the 10th, we had really high gusts of wind. It was 46 for the low. We got our second rain, and then it was 47 for the high. The 11th, 37 for the low, 39 for the high. The 12th, we have 33 for the low, 13th, back up to 47, we got our 5th snow, 3rd rain, and 1st hail, all in one day. And I have seen that in previous records through December and November, we would get like a snow, a rain, and a hail all on the same day. So now to the 14th, 33 for the low, and we got our sixth snow. Now this week it's just been straight Arctic temps. So 15 was uh, the 15th was 16 for the low, and all these lows it didn't go much higher above. I didn't get the highs because I was working all this week shoveling. But uh, I trust it didn't go much above what I'm about to read. So 15th was 16. That was Monday. 16th it was 24 for the low. We got our 7th snow. 17th was 16 again. 75% humidity. 18th was 9. 70, 75% humidity. 19th. Yesterday was 18 for the low, 75% humidity, 28 for the high, 55% humidity, and then today um, is 10. <clears throat> and there's basically been no sun for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 days, 
in a row now. Obviously, there's sun, you know, there's light. If there was no sun, it would be dark out. But what I mean by no sun is completely blocked out by just a gray thicket of uh, whatever you want to call it. One would call them clouds. I would call them a uh, haze. Uh, a yeah. Anyways, so that's where we're at. Uh, about eleven days left in the month of January, and um, yeah. We'll see what happens through February. Basically, it could go either way. February, you know, January is actually the coldest month, but February can also be very cold as well. Um, just as cold as January, if not colder. Um, and by March, it stays cold all the way, like, through mid-April, but we'll start to see our spike ups each week or every other week. And I'll just continue to keep track of the temps, keep track of the rains, keep track of the snows, keep track of the hails, keep track of the sleets, and just continue to build the, the data, the recordings, the records to be able to look back on and compare and contrast in future years. So, One Love Wholeness, I think that that will be today. It's Jay's Grassfed Podcast, episode 20. Please let me know if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. And let me know if there's anything else uh, you would like to see me cover, slash discuss, go over, talk about uh, in these kinds of pre-recorded uh, podcast scenarios. So thank you for your support. Farm updates on the way here soon in the next few weeks. Also, uh, we're going to be starting some early onion seedings and um, trying to get some first round of some cold hardy crops going along with the peppers, eggplants, herbs, and tomatoes. So, well enough homeless, thank you, and we'll see you on the next one.